Welcome to this week's housing market report for this second week of October 2024. We're moving into the fourth quarter and what we're going to do today is kind of a little real estate 101. I'm going to walk you down a path and show you some things and demonstrate some of the realities that are really critical in your home selling journey and home buying for that matter. And so we're going to look at our local market in Florence, of course, but we're also going to review some of this. And I think it will be very helpful and it could save some of you out there a lot of headaches. All right, so let's dive right in and let's start with median list prices because this is where this is going to start and end. So the median list price in Florence right now is $290,000 per, which is down about $10,000 on average since the end of last month of September. And there's a reason for that. And we're about to look at it. The average price per square foot is still sitting there in the low 140s at $144 per, which is where we've been for a while. Now, inventory levels are about the same in Florence, better than where they've been pretty much since two years ago. But what I want to do is walk you down this path. So the average price per square foot right now for homes in Florence is currently 147 today. But what I want to do when we talk about this pretty much every week is segment the market. I want to show you something. So you can see that the top market segment, the average price per square foot is $163 per. That number has gone up consistently since the beginning of June and just blew right past that pivotal moment of the week of July the 4th. It's continued to climb. Now check this out. Properties with a price decrease since that second week in July for the top market segment of Florence. So that's what I'm really focusing on right now. These are your half a million dollar plus homes. Has skyrocketed up over 53%. That's a high number. 30% is kind of the rule of thumb because naturally people are going to try to get the most out of the home that they can. So they're going to shoot for the highest mark and they have to reduce the price frequently. And 30% is kind of the rule of thumb of what would be normal. 53.6% is high. That's a high number in terms of price reductions. And you can see this even from just looking at a five year snapshot of our market, let alone nationally. Remember we said that after July the 4th, the market opportunity for home sellers is gonna downshift, but our market didn't get the memo. And so you have these top market segment homes. And again, down here, you can see these are over half a million dollar homes in Florence. Since the second week in July, the average price per square foot for these homes has gone up almost $10 per square foot. So guess what else went up? The average days on market. So here's the second week in July and the average days on market at that point in time was 85 for the top market segment in Florence. And it's now at 94. Now this is on average. So some homes are significantly more. And so naturally those homes that are sitting for that extended period of time, their agents are coming back in and saying, Hey, or even the seller themselves, however that conversation goes and saying, Hey, we need to decrease the price of the home. And so you can see that since that second week in July, properties that have experienced a price decrease has shot up in the top market segment for Florence, South Carolina. And let me clear these out of the way so this isn't so congested. And so if you look at the homes that have had to relist, that is homes that for whatever reason, the home came off the market and then went back on. Typically, this is going to be an expired listing. Went from 1.44% in April to now at 4.39%. Now that is lower than where we were this time a year ago, but I really just want you to see the connections. So median list price for this top market segment in Florence has gone up, up, up. Even since that second week right here is where I want you to focus has gone up, 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 up. Now, as of the last week has come down, we'll see what happens. And so the average days on market has gone up and properties with a price decrease has skyrocketed. All right, so what is the point of all of this? We told you at the July 4th turn that this would happen. Indicating for sellers that yes, the window to sell is still open. I've been saying it for a few weeks now, and perhaps there's some of you guys that are on the fence out there, and I'm telling you that if you don't get off the fence, the window is eventually gonna close, and if your goal was to sell in 2024 for the highest yield or return possible, that window is starting to close on you at some point sooner or later. But right now it's held in the open position. Same thing that we talked about over the last couple of weeks. But we are post July 4th and you can expect to see that window start to slowly shut sooner than later. And so there have been a lot of homes out there that were over $400,000 that have struggled to sell. There's a lot of variables in real estate. It's not just a one shot thing. A lot of times people want to make it just one thing, one thing. No, it's a variety of things. It's an equation. There are a lot of variables. There's a lot of nuance. And when you're not analyzing all of the different nuance that's involved, the art of selling a home can become 
more complex and difficult than it needs to be, or should I say more unlikely to happen in the way that you want it to. And why is this a big deal? Because every month that your home sits on the market, you're paying taxes, you're paying insurance, you're probably paying lawn care, and who knows what else? Not to mention just your need to move in terms of a life situation. That's being halted for every day that that home sits on the market and can't get sold. People are oftentimes paying for storage room fees, all kinds of things, and your home sitting there stagnant. Now, like I said, this is just a real estate 101 lesson, but the question that I have for home sellers that are watching this market report is, did your agent go over these things with you at your listing presentation? Because if these analytics were not discussed and you're part of these statistics, you know why. The market tells you what it's willing to buy and how it's willing to buy it. It's just the way that business works, supply and demand. Now we're going to get a little personal. If you're selling a home anywhere in this top market segment for our city, but what we're talking about can apply to any city if you're watching this. And I don't know what different agents may charge, but it's safe to say that you're probably paying them $20,000 to $30,000 to get this right. And so it's extremely important to make sure that you hire an agent that is treating this professionally and that understands the variety of nuance that goes into selling a home. And if the only thing that an agent has brought to the table is, well, I'm going to put it on the MLS, uh, I'm going to get some real estate photography done, which is only like $150. I'm going to shoot a video, which not everybody's even doing that. And I'm going to share it on social media and put my sign in the yard. Okay, but what about the actual meat and bones of a real estate market, which is what we're looking at today, at least in part. And this isn't the entire story. There's a lot of nuance, like I said, but this is foundational. This is critical. So my advice to you anywhere in the country that you may be, or if you know anybody that's going to be selling a home at any point in time, anywhere in the United States, is please make sure that at your consultation, your listing presentation, that the real estate agent that you're considering working with, because you're going to be paying them a lot of money, you're entrusting them with even more money. Please make sure that they're going over all this stuff with you so that you don't have to end up in these statistics here and in these statistics here. The Florence area, Myrtle Beach, or Conway, make sure you're subscribed to the channel because we put these out. I do the Florence market updates pretty much weekly is the goal, but we've also started to try to integrate in Conway and Myrtle Beach and give them their own space as well as those being areas that I service also because these are big financial decisions and purchases. And before you enter into the marketplace, my belief as a local professional is that the best thing I could do is equip you for my own business, for you to have a good understanding and confidence of the market that you're entering into. That's my goal here. That's my goal even more specifically with the clients that I actually work with. And so with that being said, I'd love to work with you. All of my contact information is down in the description. If you need to ask any questions about buying or selling your next home, I would love to speak with you. In the meantime, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please give the video a like. It helps us out a lot to continue putting content like this out to the public. And so we really do appreciate it. Look forward to talking to you soon. Y'all take care. God willing, we'll see you on the next video.